AMS 2140, Collecting Overall Values. In this tutorial, I will show you how to collect overall values on up to four channels simultaneously using the AMS 2140. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Here you see the home screen of the AMS 2140. Select F7, Advanced Analyze. Then select F1, Manual Analyze. Select F1, Set Analyze Mode, and choose Overall. Select F2, Set Overall Mode. There are two modes to choose from. 1 Hz to 80 kHz allows you to measure the full frequency range and calculate the overall value from that range. Or you can specify the F min and F max using F3 set spectra parameters. For example, you can measure from 0 to 1000 Hz with four averages. F4 set number points is where you indicate the data points to be collected. F5 set time increments. Here, we will put one second, so we will collect a data point every second. F8 Set Collection Mode allows you to choose between continuous or non-continuous data collection. Non-continuous means data collection will stop automatically after 300 points. Continuous means data will continue to be collected and overwrite data already collected. F9 Set Alarm Level When all the values are zero, you will collect data without alarms. F11 Set Time Span The 10 seconds shown here means that during data collection, you will view the incoming data in 10-second blocks. However, we are measuring for 300 seconds in this configuration. During live acquisition, you will only see the last 10 seconds, but once the acquisition is complete, you will see the full range of 300 seconds. F12 Input Setup is where you specify the number of channels to be used. Select F1 Select Input to enable or disable channels. F7 Sensor Setup is where you specify the type of sensors to be used. In this example, we are using an accelerometer with 100 millivolt per engineering unit for input A, and the power is on. This is a typical configuration for a normal accelerometer. We want the same configuration for inputs B. C and D. F2, 5, 8, and 11 will change the data units for each of the four channels. You can toggle between Gs for acceleration, millimeters per second for velocity, microns for displacement, or the sensor units. Now we have started data collection. At the bottom, you can see the overall value for each channel in real time. You also see a plot for each channel. Notice that with each plot, the display time covers only 10 seconds, but we will measure for 300 seconds. If you go to F6, Switch Plot Type, you can toggle between seeing each individual channel plot and seeing all four together. Even if you are looking at only one plot, you will still see the actual data for all four channels at the bottom of the screen. If you stop the data collection, you will see the full range of all four channels for the 53 seconds that were collected. This data can be stored using F9 Job Mode. This data was collected without using alarms. Let's see what it looks like with alarms. Select F1 Setup Menu, then F9 Set Alarm Levels. For this example, set the alarm levels for all four channels to four. Take a look at how that impacts data collection. Scrolling through the plots, you will notice that some channels are in alarm. If I switch off the motor to measure shutdown, we see the result of the overall value immediately. And another obvious change if I start the machine again. When we stop data collection, we see the overall value for running, shutdown, and startup conditions in all four channels. This could be how you measure two bearing locations in two radial directions on the motor. If we use F6 switch plot type, you can change the format of your data. We are currently using a stacked format, but you could change that to quad for this view. 
And again, you can store this data using F9. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching.